What's happening, happening fandoms? fandoms? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we react to music videos and shows. Here we are back at the Avatar, The Last Airbender. This is book three, chapter 20, called Sozin's Come Up, part three, Into the Inferno. And we thought that there were only 20 episodes in this yeah. season. But we've discovered that this is split into four parts and there's a 21. So we are now at the next to last episode, which I thought we were at last episode, but um, we're progressing through the Fire Nation and heading straight for this confrontation. At the end of the last episode, mm -hmm. We saw Sozin's Comet come rocketing in. So it's here. Yeah. The Comet is here, which means that the Fire Lord should be at his peak of his power, which is not great. Um, they should have got to him before that happened. Right. It would have been easier, but. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. Oh. oh. Wow, that is skimming the ground mm -hmm. he has to yep interesting that zuko cares so much about ang now rather than his father yeah Ooh, she's, getting, she's getting a pedicure she found some new servants and friends huh severity of your crime you're gonna kill her i understand princess please forgive me wow you are banished leave this palace immediately it's better than killing her i guess right all looking at seems like that was feet that needs scrubbing and jeez sure you get in between the toes Ooh. i didn't know she could do that yeah she just used some rock to throw them wow Daily would never betray you. And I'm sure that's just what wow. you told Long Feng before you turned against him and joined me. Damn. You're all banished. But goodbye. Wow. She's banishing people left and right. Oh. oh look at her. Mark. Immediate metal armor. It's pure, it's made out of metal. Everything is metal. Wow. That's how it's done. We have a very special birthday to celebrate. Is this really gonna work? Seriously? I can't believe the captain remembered my birthday. <laughs> he really does care. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> My father asked you to come here and talk to me, didn't he? He thinks I She's have losing her mind. But I will be the greatest leader in Fire Nation history. Here to set you free. I love Only it. Only once every hundred years can a firebender experience this kind of power. Hundred years. The Sozin Comet comes every hundred years. Oh! Whoa. That's Damn. quite powerful. Damn! Nice. This is very cool. It's so intense. Um, he's using their own attacks to wipe them out. Look at that. Dang. I know what you really think of me. You think I'm a monster. I think you're confused. I don't think she's really there. Used fear to control people. Like your friends May and Tai Lee. Well, what choice do I have? Trust is for fools. Fear is the only reliable way. You got it. Maybe that's good. If she tears apart her own kingdom because of her insanity. Oh, what is that? 
Oh, it's Aang. Oh, there he is, waiting for him. Wow. Momo, time for you to go. Ooh, look at that. Aang should get some boost from the fire comet as well, right? Mm -hmm. Flying like a jetpack. Mm -hmm. Dang, he looks young here. He's yoked out. Look at that what dude. What happened? It's Aang! Now the universe delivers you to me as an act of providence. You know that's Mark Please Hamill's voice, right? Was it? We don't have to fight. You have the power to end it here and stop what you're doing. Airship slice! Airship slice. He's gonna drive his airship into the other airships. Ooh, jeez. That's awful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's the plan here, buddy? Oh, man. Okay. This whole ship is gonna fall apart. Oh, this was a bad plan. <laughs> By decree of Phoenix King Ozai, I now crown you Fire Lord. I am. Oh. <laughs> You're hilarious. What? And you're going down. Wait. You want to be Fire Lord? Fine. Let's settle this. Just you and me, brother. Does she know she can't take us both, so she's trying to separate us? I know. But I can take her this time. Can you, though? You admitted to your uncle that you would need help facing Azula. There's something off about her. I can't explain it, but she's slipping. Yeah, she is... Just utterly in insane right now. I love this. We've never heard this music before. Mm -hmm. What a cool fight. Ozai's got some big emperor lightning. Aang. He could have he could have sent it right back at him, and he yeah. didn't. And the and Ozai saw that. Oh wow! Ooh, man, Zuko. Get the glow up. He is powerful. She is very, very powerful. And very broken and evil. Ooh, he caught her there. See that? No lighting today. Uh oh. He's gonna point the Katara. Yep, you are right. No! Come on, Zuko. <laughs> Whoa, she is. She is Evil. gone. Holy crap. Come on, Aang. Stop being scared. <laughs> You're weak, Aang. Mm. Ah. <laughs> oh, that was so intense. Oh, my goodness. Clearly, we're going to continue watching this because you can't just cut it off right in the middle of a fight like that. But we're going to split it into another episode. I know, we will. Oh my god. 
Zula has lost her goddamn mind. The way they are animating so her, insane. she looks like an insane person. Mm -hmm. And man, Ray Griffin, the voice actress for Azula, she is evil. She's making it sound like she's cracked, yeah. like she's lost it. It is wonderful work on her part. I haven't mentioned her up until now, but I. I know what a powerful voice actress she is, and she is making her seem. I know, so intense. Insane. Insane. I'm so intense. Wow. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. I wonder what's gonna happen to Katara. We're gonna have to find out in the next episode, in mere seconds from now. But <laughs> I want to talk about the weight and the sound engineering. Mm -hmm. These fights have had a very different feel than just the about rest. anything else that's happened throughout this entire series. The the Ozai versus Aang fight, mm -hmm. it, that feels one-sided. Ozai is right. whipping him. Like crazy. And his powers are insane. It's like he's a rocket. Rocket, yeah. Right? Aang needs to start waking up. I don't know who's going to give him that oof. Yeah, something's, yeah, something's going to have to change with Aang for him to be willing to take out Ozai. Yeah. Because Ozai is willing to take him yeah. out. And he had an opportunity to send that lightning back at him. And he did not. He put chose it up. to put it up into the sky instead. And that is, that is an advantage that Ozai can use. Obviously. Because if Aang is unwilling to harm him... Right, yeah. like Ooh, nice. he has, he doesn't need to be afraid of him. He can just go all out offense. Right, right, right. Right, but when we moved to the Azula and Zuko pieces, oh man, the sound engineering in that, it it was like we weren't even hearing individual fire, fire bending burning. moves. It was just this grumbling, like a rocket takeoff. Well, Fire versus fire. Sure, but the, just these monstrous sounds that were unlike, you know, the little. Psh, yeah, yeah. Psh, they were huge, huge events. The good thing about it is they put really, you know, a little bit of identity, you know, on the fire. One is blue, one is red. Yeah, yeah. That, but that really is showing that Azula's powers are stronger, stronger. than his. Yeah. But he's using his in a more intelligent fashion correct she's just unleashing unstable power without good direction do you think he will recover i certainly hope so because now that he's had his redemption and joined the right team mm -hmm. we like him yes we want him to succeed and i don't want him to sacrifice himself like this i i want them to succeed and i right. don't want him to be dead I, he, I you know i suspected from very very early on that that zuko was going to turn around mm -hmm. they were dropping little hints right from the very beginning that he was going to end up being on our team and uh i've wanted him to wake up and realize that for most of the series but he finally did mm -hmm. um and uh I was almost starting to suspect that Azula was coming around. Could like maybe instead of this insanity thing she had going on, maybe she was secretly banishing her forces away to let the Avatar win. Right. But, but it's now not. now it seems that it's just paranoia and the insanity of a leader that doesn't trust anybody. Anybody. Yeah. And so I think that would, I, that's not a. I wonder what thing. ticked her. Oh, because her she, her dad ticked her because she he wanted to come with her dad. Well, I I think probably it was a combination of that, but a big, big, oh, big part she lost of it her friends. was May and Tylee mm -hmm. betraying her and taking Zuko's side. Because she's mean to them all right. the time, and they don't actually want to, to follow mean. a person like her. Yeah. 
And so I think that betrayal kind of broke her. I see. Up more than her dad. So, well, all right. Thank well, you again for turning into our channel. We really appreciate you guys for loving our new, ch loving our show channel and and liking our videos. Uh, we really appreciate you guys. Thank you for subscribing to our small mighty channel to help us reach to 30k thank you again and, and see, see you in the in next 30 seconds video <laughs>